welcome back to my channel. In this video, I show you guys how to create this makeup look using the new Kylie Cosmetics 2017 Holiday Christmas Collection. And I did previously do a video using this collection, except it was with the Nice palette. And I'll leave it somewhere on the screen here and linked down below if you want to check that one out. But in today's video, I will be using the Naughty palette. And this is more of like a darker more dramatic sort of makeup look the other one was more of like a neutral more like angelic i guess you can say kind of look so yeah i love 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 this palette if you want more tutorials using these palettes please let me know down below i'll be more than happy to do some i've got so many videos planned for you guys so yeah just let me know in the comments below if you want more tutorials using these palettes using this collection anything at all just let me know if you did watch my last video you would have already heard me mention that on instagram i did do a poll asking guys if you wanted to see a tutorial with the nice palette or the naughty palette first but it ended up being 50 50 so i did it with the nice palette first and here is the naughty palette look so just make sure you follow me on instagram so you can vote in future polls all my social media is always down below and right at the end of the video and yeah if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you are new to my channel and with all that being said let's just jump straight into the video so as always i've already done my brows and primed my eyes don't mind the fact that my brows are a bit messy i'm growing them out at the moment but i need to get them done asap because they're getting a bit out of control at the moment but yeah and then i just primed my eyes with some concealer and i set it with my rcma note color powder and now we're just going to move on to the eyeshadow so of course i'm going to be using the naughty palette by kylie cosmetics i love the packaging it's like this emerald green color and then it's got velvet lettering all over it which is so nice and then the silver just stands out so nice as well and then on the back it's got the shades and there is also a mirror on the inside and then here i'll show you a close-up of all the shades she has also put the names of all the shades on the inside as well which I think is really good. Okay, so for today's look, I kind of want to do a red and green halo eye using like some traditional Christmas colors. And yeah, we're just gonna get straight into it. I'm so excited to try this palette out. I loved the nice palette. The shadows in the nice palette were so creamy and buttery and I'm assuming these would be the same. So I'm just gonna quickly swatch the shade Saint Nick because that's the first shade I'm going to be using. Oh my God. That's so pigmented, I love that. Okay, so the first shade I'll be going in with is Saint Nick. And I'll just be using my Morphe E23 brush to apply as my transition shade. Okay, you guys, so this shadow is so pigmented and it's blending out so well. And now for the crease, I'll be going in with the shade Unwrap Me, which looks like a dark burgundy berry sort of shade and I'm going to be applying it with my Morphe M441 brush and then with the same brush I'm just going to be tapping it very lightly to the inner and outer corners of my eyes. Once you apply the shade it kind of looks more purple than what it does in the pan. Now just to blend the shadows together, I'm going to be using my Morphe E23 brush, which is the first brush I used. So the shadows blended together so well, like these shadows are blending so easily and I am loving it. Now to further deepen the crease, I'm going to be applying the shade Emerald with the Morphe M433 brush. And now this is going to bring in a bit of the green to the look. And I'm also going to be applying some on the inner and outer corners of my eyes again. The shadow is very pigmented, so be careful when applying it. Make sure you're tapping the excess off your brush. So I'm just going to go back in with that red St. Nick shade and the Morphe E23 brush just to blend out all the shades and bring back a bit of the red. And now I'm just going to be grabbing a pencil brush. This one is by Suiva. You can use any pencil brush you own. And I'm just going to be picking up the shade Emerald again and applying it more precisely on the inner and outer corners of my eyes. Okay, 
Okay, so now I'm just going to start creating the halo of my eye. So I've just got some concealer on the back of my hand. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I'm just going to be applying it in the center of my eyes. And I'm going to be doing one out at a time. So once I apply the concealer, I'm just going to be going in with this shade here called Snowball. And just a flat brush. And I'm just going to set the concealer so it doesn't crease. And I'm just going to be picking up the shade Jingle with a small detail shade brush by Zoeva. And I have sprayed my brush with MAC Fix Plus just to intensify the shimmer. And I'm just going to be applying it in the center where I just applied the concealer. Okay, I love this shade. I feel like it gives off like a bit of a green tinge to it. Maybe it's just because I've got green eyeshadow going on in my eyes, but I love this shade. It's so nice. And now just back in with my pencil brush and the green shade emerald. I'm just going to apply that on the inner and outer corners of my eyes again. And tapping where the shimmery shade and the matte shades meet. Just so it all blends in seamlessly. Okay, so that's it for the eyes for now. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but I did get a little bit of fallout with the shade Emerald, which was the green matte shade, and the shade Jingle, which was the shimmery shade that I put on my lids. And yeah, there's just a little bit of fallout, not too much, but it's still there. So I'm just going to wipe all that away and then clean up the edges of my eyes. I'm just going back in with my brush a little bit. I'm not picking up any shadow, but there is still a little bit of shadow left over on the brush. And I'm just blending the shades out a bit. Now I'm just going back in with my E23 brush to blend it out. Just because I love things to be super blended. You don't want any harsh lines in your eyeshadow. Okay, so now I'm just going to quickly off camera do my face makeup. So my foundation, concealer and face powder. I'm basically going to be using the same products and doing the same process as my last video with the Nice palette. And I don't want it to be too boring for you guys. And this video will mainly be focusing on the Kylie Holiday Collection. So yes, I'm just going to be right back. Okay, so now I am back. I've done my face base makeup and now we're going to be moving on. So now I'm going to be going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and this is the powder one. And I'm just going to be going in with this middle shade here from the Light to Medium Kit and going to be contouring with that. So I'm just going to contour my nose and the rest of my face. So around my forehead, underneath my cheekbone and underneath my jawline as well. And for my nose, I'm going to be using the Morphe M139 brush. And then for my face, I'm going to be using the R5 brush by Morphe. And now I'm just going to blend out the contour a little bit just so it's not too harsh. And now I'm just going to be bronzing my face with the Benefit Blue Bronzer and I'm going to be using my Morphe M177 brush for that. Now I'm just going to blend that out as well real quick. So I'm just going to be moving on to highlights. I'm going to be grabbing my Anastasia A23 brush and I'm just going to spray it with my MAC Fix Plus. And then I'll be going in with the Kylie Cosmetics Holiday Edition Wet Set. And I showed you guys this in my other video with the Nice Palette. And I'm obsessed with this packaging. Like this is literally mesmerizing. Like it's literally amazing. And I'm going to be using the same shade I used last time, which is called Frostbite. It's this shade up here. And can I just say the shade sugar coated in this? is so amazing like it looks super pink in the pan but it swatches as like an icy sort of silvery pink like it's so pretty okay so in my last video i found this wet set to not be as blinding as i expected it to and as blinding as the last wet set it definitely is more out there right now for some reason i think it's probably because i sprayed some more fix plus than what i usually do 
on my brush just to make it extra glowy but still just to amplify it a bit more I will be going in with my Morphe M501 brush and the Kylie Cosmetics Ultra Glow in the shade Santorini just because this is like my favourite highlight and I love it and I will be spraying my brush with Fix Plus And now for blush, I'm going to be going in with my Tarte 12 Hour Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Seduce. And I'll just be applying it with my Morphe M530 brush. Now back into the eyes, I'm going back into the Naughty Palette of course. And I'll just be picking up the shade Emerald with a smudge brush. And I'm just going to smudge that along my lower lash line. And now I'll be picking up the shade Saint Nick and just very lightly smoking out my lower lash line. I don't want to go too harsh with this shade so just be very light with it and use a very diffused brush. And I'll be using the Morphe M433 brush. And for the inner corners of my eyes I'm just going to be going ahead with the shade Jingle and my Detail Shader brush again by Zweeva sprayed with some MAC Fix Plus. Now with an even smaller brush, sprayed with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus, I'm going back into my highlight and I'm going to be highlighting my brow bones. Now I'm just going to blend out the hash line with my Zoeva 224 brush. And I'm just going to quickly just fix up some of the shadow that transferred from the shimmery shade. Okay, so now I'm just going to set my face with my MAC Fix Plus. And I'm just going to go ahead and curl my lashes and then apply my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara to my top lashes only. And now just off camera, I'm going to be applying the flatter lashes in the style Intoxicating. And I'm just going to apply my mascara to my bottom lashes. And also don't mind this lash on the inner corners, it's not sticking so well. And I've already taken it off and tried reapplying it and it's still not sticking that well. So just don't mind that. Okay, so now we're moving on to the final step, which is the lips. And I really wanted to use the Red Velvet Lip Kit, but I don't know if it's going to be too much for this look. This is what the shade looks like. It's like a true red, but it's in her velvet formula. But she also has the Spice Lip Set. So this is just the Spice Lip Set. So there's a matte liquid lipstick here, there's two glasses, another matte liquid lipstick, and then a velvet liquid lipstick. So I don't know if maybe I should use one of these shades, but I don't know, I'm so indecisive. If you didn't know that about me already, I'm a very indecisive person. I don't know, do I try the red and then take it off it if it doesn't work? I don't know. It's just because I feel like the red I put in the crease looks a bit pink, especially on camera. So if it was like a really red, like it was when I first applied it, then I feel like this would match better. But because it's kind of like a pinky red, I don't know if this will suit. We're just going to go for it. If it doesn't work, I can take it off. I don't know if I'm really vibing with it at the moment. I don't want to look crazy, you know. I'm just going to take it off and then we'll see what we're going to do. Okay, because I'm so indecisive, I did some swatches on my hand. I feel like this one's really nice because I did want to go for a bold lip for like a naughty type of look. But I don't want it to be clashing with the eyes. And I don't know if this berry shade will be too much. This is Holly Berry from the Spice set. And then I've got just a nice nude that I usually do. And then I've got the Malibu lip kit as well here. You know what, I'm going to go with the Malibu lip kit. I think I was leaning more towards the nude, but let's just go with Malibu. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys liked it and learned something from it and it helped you out somehow. And if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!